Welcome to the Midnight Tutor. This is a problem that we get sent to us all the time, so it's way overdue that we actually just generate the video on how to solve it, and then we can help everybody and save a lot of email. The problem is, and now this is the difficult version because we have some additional factors in here, but the problem is the integral of e to the x times a trig function like sine of, so here we have integral of e to the 5x sine of 3x dx. Now there's a trick to solving this problem. If you know the trick, then you'll know sort of where point B is and kind of where you have to go and it'll be simple. If you don't know the trick, then you're going to struggle for a long time. The trick is that when you solve this kind of a problem, eventually you get back the same thing. You use integration by parts and eventually you get back the same thing that you started with. So what we're going to do is go through this and then shoot for that goal and then we'll have an equation where we can put this on one side, put all the other stuff on the other side and then say, okay, that's the answer. So it's complicated because we have these five and three factors here, but not impossible. So we're going to do parts, obviously. So, so we, whenever we do parts, we have the u and v I always like to just put it out there and then once I see what I'm working with, decide which one I'm going to make the U and which one I'm going to make the DV. So let's do U equals E to the 5X and the V sine 3X. Now the thing is when I, when I create, when I do parts and I create the new integral, I want to have something that I can still integrate. So in this case, what would be a better choice? Let's think about this for a second. What I want to do is then turn this into a cosine. So I'm going to make this the dv term, which then implies that v is minus cosine. Well, it's one third cosine three x. The u then implies that the du is going to be five e to the 5x. So now we can set up our integration by parts in case you forget the formula, which I don't ever remember. Just think of the product rule. This is an aside. Product rule. The d of uv is u dv plus v du. So now we just want to pull, we want to choose one of these things. So we'll say u dv is the same as v d u minus d u v. Now if we integrate everything, we get the integral of u d v is equal to, oh I got the signs mixed up here, u v, right, the integral of d u v is u v minus the integral of v d u. So that's how I always remember the, the uh, parts formula. So now let's go through and, and do the first iteration here. So we have, this is going to be equal to uv, so e to the 5x, so minus over, over 3, minus 1 third cosine 3x, minus the integral of v du, v, so we have minus minus a third, that becomes a plus, 1 third, when we have a 5 also, so this is a 5 thirds, e to the 5x cosine 3x dx. So that's the first iteration. We don't have a solution yet, right? So now we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to assign for this piece a u and a v. And I don't know which one. I'm just going to put it in here and then we'll, we'll, uh, we'll figure it out later. So we have e to the 5x and we have the cosine 3x. So now Probably, you see, what, what we want to do is we want to turn this back into a sine. So we'll call this the dv, which then means that v is going to be one-third sine 3x. And then du is 5 e to the 5x. So now, do you already see where this is going to turn out? So now we have, we have to keep this term. So we have the minus one-third e to the 5x cosine 3x, and then we have plus, 
And now in this thing, we're just going to apply our formula uv, so e to the 5x. Well, we have a 5 thirds, though. uv e to the 5x over 3 sine 3x minus the integral of dvu 1 3rd sine x uh, sine 3x and we had the du so we have a 5 here e to the 5x dx. Well, I, now my slot writing is a little sloppy. This, notice how this expression, e to the 5x sine 3x, is the same as this expression, e to the 5x sine 3x. It's what we started with. So we have an equation. So, right, because this equals that. So now we can just write out our equation. So we have integral e to the 5x sine 3x is equal to minus e to the 5x over 3 cosine 3x plus 5 ninths e to the 5x sine 3x minus 5 thirds times 5 thirds is 25 ninths e to the 5x uh, integral e to the 5x sine 3x. Let me erase my uh, other thing here. So the solution's at hand, right? Here we have a term with e to the integral e to the 5x sine 3x dx. Here we have a term like that. So we just have to add this. So 1 plus 25 ninths is how many? 9 ninths. 9 and 25 is 34. So we're going to have 34 ninths integral e to the 5x sine 3x is equal to this stuff. Minus e to the 5x over 3 cosine 3x plus 5 ninths e to the 5x sine 3x. So then we can say the answer. So we now we just have to multiply through by this factor. So the integral of e to the 5x sine 3x is equal to 9 over 34 times this whole thing. And, and so we could simplify it, reduce the, uh, the fractions or what have you, but hopefully you get the message here. These problems are all done the same way. Anytime you have an integral with a an exponential term and a trig function, they're all done the same way, which is you kind of manipulate through parts twice to get back what you started with. Now there's going to be some factor associated with it, but nevertheless it gives you an equation which then you can solve for that thing. Now the other classic problem in the same vein is where instead of having the e to the 5x you have a polynomial. I'm going to address that one next, but as always send your problems to solve at midnighttutor.com and keep on trucking.